Ebony, I'm looking at the work you did on section 5.3, which is about z-scores and just how to calculate z-scores and the uh, probabilities or the area under the curve. And in all of these, I really recommend you use StatCrunch. I'm going to go ahead and open up StatCrunch here real quickly. And in StatCrunch, we'll go to the calculator in normal. Get that open. And then let's go back and look at the problem. First one says, uh, find a z-score that corresponds to a cumulative area of 0.3318. I noticed you answered 1.85, which is a positive uh, value of Z, which would put it over here on the right side of the curve. Remember the curve, under the area under the curve, which is the probability, always has to be less than one. And so that means that anything below the mean of zero, a minus Z score, has to be less than 0.5 for the probability. So let's go ahead and find the answer for this. The area is 0.3318. I put that in that side and we want less than again because we want everything from the left tail to the z-score. And so the z-score that we're interested in is 0.435 on that first one. On this second problem, it you need to read it again. It says find the z-score that has 82.6% of the distribution, which is 0.826, to the right. So we want a right tail. You answered 9.03, which is to the right, but that's nine standard deviations, which is way, way, way out there. Again, let's bring up StatCrunch. And this time it's 0.826. And we want to the right, so we get our greater than symbol pointing that way. And that gives us a Z score of minus 9.4. Okay. Let's go to the next problem, which you didn't answer. Find the z-scores for which 88% of the distribution area lies between minus z and plus z. So let's go again back to our StatCrunch calculator. And this time we want to click on the between. And we want the area between to be 0.88. Click on compute. And that gives us minus 1.55 to plus 1.55, which would be the answer. Let's look at the last question. And this is the coffee uh, problem, and I've already posted the solution for the coffee problem, again, using the StatCrunch calculator. So take a look at that solution to the coffee problem. And I hope this helps.